And then I got this one I've wanted for ages. And you probably know it's Pulp Fiction, the French three disc collector's edition. Look at this. This is a bit of glue residue, which I haven't tried properly to get off yet, but it doesn't look like it will come off. And it's got that quote from Ezekiel 25, verse 10. Basically, this comes on the back um, and where it's been removed. That's kind of disappointing. I'm over it now. And it's this gorgeous digipack inside. And it's three discs. The third is soundtrack. Um, probably, I'm assuming, the same features as all the other editions I've got. It's got the quote of what pulp and what fiction means. And then it's got this booklet, which I'm going to have to say is a proper booklet. Uh, it's pretty thick. And it's got lots of stuff in it. Which is all in French, so maybe Mayfair could come and read it for me. And then it's got the soundtrack booklet, which is kind of cool. But they give you the soundtrack booklet. I don't know why I find that cool, but I do. And then this picture. Oh, this is from the, this is the back of the soundtrack as well. It's kind of, I don't know if the seller that get used, who gave this to me just added these or whether this is actually included, but that's kind of cool. So yes, so yeah, I love that edition, I've been looking for that for ages, and I feel my Pulp Fiction collection is somewhat complete now. Then I got, for really cheap, I got this for 99p, I think it was £3 posted in packaging, so it was like £4, but 99p was the bid. Hellraiser, and Hellraiser 2, the Anchor Bay Tin. Yes, 99p, I couldn't believe that. I was like, oh, score. Um, what is the number? The number is 17,446. I'm not sure how many that is out of. Yeah, it's not in mint condition. Um, it's got a few minor scratches. Uh, that one there is probably the biggest. That one there is probably the biggest scratch. Don't know if you can see that. But when you look at the thing, you don't. None of the scratches really stand out. Um, so yeah. And then inside, we have some Hellraiser uh, postcards. I think they're original movie posters, actually. And then it's got, dare I say it, a proper booklet. Yeah. Booklet, booklet love going on here. Pinhead. Um, it's got some pretty cool images in it and quotes. I love this. Nothing better than a book with nice full glossy pictures in it. Hellraiser will forever remind me of my old video rental store up the road when, when it was all VHS because they had the hugest Hellraiser poster that dominated the whole shop because it was tiny. It was literally like the size of my bedroom, this little store. So, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, and Hellraiser. Shouldn't this be the YouTube anthem? Anyway, distracted. Okay, I got Sleeping Beauty, the new Platinum Edition book set, which is 
so beautiful. Look at this book. Isn't this beautiful? This is just like my Jungle Book and 101 Dalmatian sets, but it's a lot shinier, so that's a bonus. And if we open it up, we get the usual booklet. Well, <laughs> can't call it a booklet since it's an actual hardback book, but hey. Um, the only disappointing thing about this is this doesn't come with a slipcase. I know it's in the big box, but my Jungle Book and 101 Dalmatians both came with slipcases. And if you buy this, just this edition in the store, you'll get a slipcase at the moment, so... But beggars can't be choosers, so... I got the box, what more could I want? There we are. Two discs and the usual Disney stuff. Pinocchio is coming out soon, apparently. And... This is the book. This is a heavy... It smells lovely. And just tons of stuff. Just love it, love it, love it. Love the detail. Yeah. I can't wait to watch Sleeping Beauty again. Really great addition. You can still pick this up for around £17. Maybe more. 17 or 18 pounds, check online and stuff. Definitely worth getting these because they do go out of print and they will be worth something at some point. And then I got an interesting Korean, Korean edition uh, of a film I really love, which is Dogville. And I love the colour of this and it's slightly glittery, you know, like coppery. It's Dogville. Yeah, and it is a pretty big edition. Bigger than that Sleeping Beauty one. I got this from a guy who sold me a bunch of stuff. He gave me Pulp Fiction as well. I did buy them at different times. I'm trying to open it, by the way. <laughs> but it's got like a little magnetic strip. So... You know what I'm going to call this, a proper booklet, it's amazing, but it's the script but it's got pictures and other stuff in it as well. Nicole Kidman's amazing in this film, I didn't really give her any dues before this, I didn't really care about her, but you have to be good to be, to make this film work, and she did it. It's got biographies of everyone. Unfortunately, it is all in Korean, so I won't be reading this anytime soon. I'll be looking at the pretty pictures. Yes. We have a film cell. Genuine film cell, um, which is Nicole Kidman, I think. Looking disgruntled. <laughs> uh, we have some art cards. I may try and open those in a minute, and then the special edition DVD two discs which is cool because I've only got one disc edition which I think is the only edition out in the UK and yeah Dogville is an amazing film it's by Lars von Trier and it's you it takes a while to adjust to the the way this film works because it's the set is like it would be on a, it's worse than on a stage play, it's, the houses, you're supposed to believe are just, I can't explain it, I can't explain this film, I've tried, you're just going to have to watch it, <laughs> and just wait, because so many people have turned this off and not gone further and realised how amazing this film is, I almost turned it off, and now after watching the whole thing I think that would have been the biggest mistake ever because it's a really rewarding film I think so there it is Dogville I like it, I like it a lot